let's evaluate some trig functions. First, inverse tangent of minus square root of three. So our first step, we wanna give this a name. Now, inverse tangent is gonna return an angle, so the name I'll use is theta. Once we have this, we're able to use a language trick to get to our answer. Now, if we have tan inverse of minus square root of three equals theta, I can rewrite that as tan theta equals minus square root of three. Okay, so the idea here is if I wanna switch, I can remove the minus sign. Then the allowable range of values is gonna be between minus pi halves and pi halves. Okay, the way I remember this, tangent's gonna be sine over cosine. Cosine is gonna be zero at pi halves and minus pi halves. That's where you're dividing by zero. That's where your vertical asymptotes are. Now, what are we trying to do here? So, I'm trying to find okay, the angle theta that gives us this, and that's between minus pi halves and pi halves. So, I wanna get two things. We want a reference angle, and I wanna know what quadrant we're working in. So let's take a look. Now, to find the quadrant, I can use the cast method. So what does that say? That's gonna say, okay, we're gonna start in the lower right-hand corner, Okay, that's gonna get a C. So C is for cosine. So if I consider cosine, sine, or tangent, cosine is gonna be the only trig function of those three that's positive in this quadrant. And then we just move around with the same idea. So here, cosine's positive. Here, they're all positive. Here, only sine is positive. Here, only tangent is positive. Now, we have the tangent is minus square root of three and we're only allowed between minus pi halves and pi halves. So that's gonna mean we're in quadrant four. Okay, now I wanna find the reference angle. So once I find the reference angle, we just need to push it down to quadrant four. Let's see what we have. We have tangent theta equals minus square root of three. So sine theta over cosine theta equals minus square root of three. That means sine theta is minus square root of three cosine theta. So I can put that in cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. We get four cosine squared equals one, or cosine is gonna be plus minus a half. Now, cosine equal to plus minus a half, I just need to figure out which of pi thirds or pi six goes with that. Okay, the cosine is the x value in the unit circle. So of one half and squared to three over two, which is roughly 0.87, one half is smaller. So to have the smaller x value, I want the higher angle. The higher angle is pi thirds. So my reference angle is pi thirds. Now, we're gonna push that down to quadrant four, so I'm gonna get minus pi thirds. That's gonna be our answer here. Now note, it's not gonna be five pi thirds because that's not gonna be in the range of inverse tangent. So remember, minus pi thirds. Next, inverse sine of sine of five pi over four. Now, we'd like to cancel inverse sine with sine. It's gonna leave us with five pi over four. The Problem is, inverse sine has to be between minus pi halves and pi halves. So, we're gonna to need to try something else. Now, what we can do is, let's just box off sine of five pi over four, write out our definition, stick it back in, and then see what the picture is. So if we box out sine of five pi over four, we'll call this theta. The way we interpret, that's just gonna be sine of theta is equal to box, and theta is between minus pi halves and pi halves. Put back in for box, we're gonna have sine of theta equals sine of five pi over four. Now, let's look at the picture. So if theta is between minus pi halves and pi halves, okay, we're looking at this region here, and note, that's quadrant one, quadrant four. If we look at five pi over four, we have the point here. So if sine of theta equals the sine of five pi over four, that means they have the same y value in the unit circle. So let's put in that horizontal line through five pi over four. Okay, then the point in quadrant four with that same sign is gonna be over here. So the reference angle is pi over four. And then if I wanna be between minus pi over two and pi over two, we have to go with minus pi fourths. So that's our answer.
another way to get to your minus pi over four. More or less the same idea, just a little bit more straightforward. Okay, let's evaluate sine of five pi over four. So the reference angle's pi over four. So it's gonna be square root of two over two, and then I have to figure out plus or minus sine. Take a look at the point. We're in quadrant three, so it's gonna pick up a minus sign. The y value here is negative. So we're looking at inverse sine of minus square root of two over two. Call that theta, and then we rewrite it. So we have sine of theta equals minus square root of two over two, and we have to have that theta is between minus pi halves and pi halves. So that's gonna be this point here. And then we get back our minus pi over four. Finally, secant, the inverse tangent of three eighths. Now, Secant's not the problem here. That's just one over cosine. So we really wanna find cosine of inverse tangent three over eight. So let's deal with the inverse tangent first. Now, we'll call it theta, and then we'll just use our language trick to rewrite. So if I have theta equals inverse tangent of three over eight, that's the same as saying tan of theta equals three over eight, and theta is between minus pi halves pi halves. First, let's look for the quadrant. So we have cast, so cosine, all, sine, tangent. Tangent's equal to three over eight, so that's positive. Then what do we have? For quadrant four, we have cosine's positive, sine negative, tangent negative. So that means we're in quadrant one. So our angle's gonna be equal to our reference angle, and when I find sines and cosines, we always go with the positive. Okay, two ways we can proceed. First, we could just let tangent be sine over cosine, let that be equal to three over eight, move the cosine to the other side. That gives me equation for sine, and then we substitute into cosine squared plus sine squared equals one. You work that out, you wind up with cosine of theta equals plus or minus eight over square root of 73. Of course, we use the positive. So that gives us cosine, we flip it over, we get secant. So our answer is gonna be square root of 73 over eight. Another way to go. So we're gonna pick up from this part. We could use the fact that tan theta equals three over eight, we could set up a right triangle. So here for tangent, we have opposite over adjacent. So let the opposite side have length three, the adjacent have length eight. Then the length of the hypotenuse is square root of 73. Okay, secant is gonna be one over cosine. So the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's gonna be eight over square root of 73. And then if we flip it over, we get secant. So that checks our square root of 73 over eight.